I am Jen Butler, and this is The Silent Killer in Dentistry. I have a mantra that I live my life by, and that is you can't change what you don't acknowledge. The difference between a rut and a grave are the dimensions. So why is it in your everyday life, when you find yourself in a rut, you keep digging? I thought the course was just awesome. I would recommend it to anybody. I learned a lot. I'm going to try it on my family even, so that would be great. Hi, I just heard Jen Butler speak. I'm Trisha O'Hare, and I've learned lots of exciting ways to control stress, and I'm going to go home and do them. Jen was amazing. Uh, she's definitely an expert in her field. Uh, learned many, many ways of how to manage and reduce stress not only in my own personal life, but in my professional life as well. What does a healthy stress cycle look like? It looks like this. You have a stress trigger. Same three stress triggers. You're running late, and now you have, at the end of today especially, you're going to have new coping methods to tap into. You're going to learn to navigate the situation. You're going to learn to manage your stress so that you have some recovery time. And recovery, I'm not talking 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes. No one has that time at work, especially in a dental practice. But 30 seconds. That 30 second time frame can re slow everything down, bring you back to homeostasis. So then when you have your next stress trigger, the demanding patient walks in, you're mentally, physically, psychologically all ready for them. They might be challenging again to navigate through the kids running around and the mom and the kids crying and blah, blah, blah. But then you recover and you go down. Then your body's ready. You are prepared for your next, next, tricks, next stress trigger. Some muscle aches and pains. Maybe it's midday, it's lunch. You've now had four or five patients, maybe more. If you have assisted hygiene, you're running two columns, you're running back and forth. You could have eight, ten patients by lunch, right? So now your hands are cramping, your neck is killing you. But at lunch, you have a recovery period, and so you're refreshed when you go back in the afternoon. This is what we, this is the goal, right? This is the goal that you never reach your stress threshold. So what's important to remember is that the, these stressors are not going to go away. The demanding patients are going to be there. You are going to run late. Your clinical providers, your whether it be another hygienist or a doctor, there's still going to be conflict and confrontation. But it's time for you to have a new normal. stress threshold. It's the imaginary line that when you're, you're going to learn to navigate the situation, you're going to learn to manage. Are you ready to go to work every day being energized and motivated and knowing every...